Hello and welcome to another episode of Wuzzy's Electronic Album Picks, where I provide information on electronic food for your ears and eyes. Today we're going back to the past, beyond the regular retro. I've explored this music style before, but I thought it was time to explore it again. The album is One Plus Two by Oak. It was released on September 8th, 2019. The album has 11 tracks and a length of 40 minutes and 17 seconds. The style is dungeon synth, medieval ambient, and fantasy. These are my favorite tracks. Track 7, Outward and Inward. Track 9, To Rest Among Others. Track 10, Outward and Upward. Track 11, Unstable Solitude. Now for the full flavor, put your earbuds or headphones on and enjoy the show. Track 7, Outward and Inward, it starts with a beautiful flute and light synths. The track then constructs with some more synths and a light beat that leads into a nice minimal part with a stand-up bass and a xylophone. I really like the familiar tapping beat, it's nice and minimal. It constructs again with some synths and flutes and a strong lead harp that leads the adventure into more of an ambient trail for a bit. I really like the last construction, great mixing, very magical. Track 9, To Rest Among Others, simply beautiful. It starts out right away with a nice construction of a bass and echoed harp and lead bass. This then soon breaks down a bit with some lovely xylophone and flute. It continues with the stand-up bass, then just the harp. Then they meet each other with other scents as well. It's a wonderful mix and the track really lives up to its name. Track 10, Outward and Upward. Another awesome construction that starts right away with an echoed harp and a stand-up bass and a light beat that's camouflaged into the bass. The flute comes in with a nice lead synth, 
It then goes into this nice light breakdown for a bit. It then gets more aggressive sounding with the harp and synths constructing and swirling around. It's the most energetic track on the album. I love how it speeds up and the tambourine is a nice touch. And some interesting deeper sounding orchestra sounds build as well. It slows down a little bit near the end. It's a speedy magical track. Track 11, Unstable Solitude. The beginning of this track sounds very similar to my track House of Mirrors off Prison Webcoat. This mysterious synth constructs with a flute. It's very relaxing and calming. It continues with some ambient synth elements. A very minimal track, but I really like it. The xylophone sneaks in, and it sounds great amongst the ambient elements. This is a very nice way to end the album, and I love the ambient and minimal stuff like this. Oak is one of my brother's favorite Dutch synth artists, and I really wanted to revisit this music style. I really enjoyed uh, what I heard, so here we are. Track 1, Tortoise 1, and Track 5, Tortoise 5, were some other tracks I enjoyed. Track 1 is a beautiful track that starts out the album. The track has this a theme feel that overall highlights the album. It's dreamy and very nice. Feels like you just set out on an adventure. Track 5 was very nice. Uh, relaxing track. Makes me sleepy in a good way. Also, I think it's the best track from the first part of the album. It's just uh, so cheerful and happy. The album is split up in two parts. The first part is Oak 1, and it's more minimal and dreamy with beautiful mixes with echoed harps, fresh flutes, and wonderful stand-up bass, as well as other light synths. Oak 2 is a bit more developed and constructed with more synths and the xylophone. It's also more mysterious and adventurous than the first part. I really enjoyed this album, and I can see why it's one of my brother's favorites. It inspired his project, Lore, which is a beautiful album as well. I helped a bit on a few of the tracks. I was much more involved with the project Castle Mouse. Oak 1 plus 2 is a rich, smooth dungeon synth adventure that takes you out of the dark, creepy dungeons and into the majestic forest on a quest or a journey of sorts. The music also reminds me of the music on the video game Tomb Raider. My favorite track was track 10, Outward and Upward. It was the most energetic track and it was very adventurous and fun. I love the dreamy tracks too, but this was just a, a bit different from the rest of the tracks. It's uh, very exciting. Best track with the echo of harp and minimal beats. Now, if you've seen it on Wuzzy's Picks, it's an album to be heard. So I hope you guys check out the full album. If you're a fan of electronic music and enjoyed the episode, smash that subscribe button and a thumbs up. Also, hit that bell so you'll be notified when I have my next video. If you want to support my show, you can find three of our latest releases in the description below. Also, check out my Instagram or YouTube channel, Rhubarb Cabin Records, for more music adventures. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day and night. Cheers.